Hello everyone, Nintendo Gen 64 is here, and welcome to yet another Let's Play. You know what? The last game I did, Donald Duck Going Quackers, in retrospect, that game was pretty damn awesome. And in the spirit of Donald Duck Going Quackers, I decided that today I should start a Let's Play of a game so similar, in fact, that you probably can't tell the difference between the two. I speak, of course, of Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise. I'm doing fine, Pixel Eater Lilo. Yes, Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise. Published on the PlayStation 1 in 2002 by Disney Interactive and Blitz Games. This is a 3D platformer based on the popular Lilo and Stitch series. A game so amazing, you can come over here and fiddle with the sound volume, or you can come over to this fish tank and mess with the screen resolution. Holy shit, that's that's never been done before. Okay. Also, you can come over here and uh, look at some uh, pictures of Lilo's uh, bedside wall, mostly consisting of yellow question marks on a black background. But most importantly, you can start the game. I mean, of course they'd have to throw that feature in, I don't know how you could possibly play the game without that feature. So yeah, Lilo and Stitch, obviously based on the uh, the popular movie released like a year before this, also called Lilo and Stitch, and uh, obviously it has uh, cutscenes from the movie, which I'm not going to show because I don't want to get copyright infringements. There you are. Hi. L listen, Lilo, I've got to go to work now, so I'll meet you in town at one o'clock, okay? Okay. One o'clock. That's ages away. Come on, Stitch. We can get some more photos for my wall. Wow. That, that, that plot is so intricate, I cannot follow it at all. But I, I think this, uh, this bit here summarizes it. Collect 16 photographs. But before we uh, start the game proper, let's take a look at uh, Lilo's house here, because I feel like I should. Uh, not too terrible. Not too good either. Uh, I would probably put this in the market for around $250,000. Um, Lilo, she likes to get stuck in the walls sometimes, going up the stairs here, like uh, there's invisible walls stopping her from moving. Uh, her sister left her crappy car here, which she did a pretty poor job parking because you can see like the wheel is like turned like that. And uh, you can save the game at the letter boxes, and you can also jump off the cliff and fall to your death. Incredible. Also, like, when Lilo runs around, she, like, leaves her footprints there, which is, yeah, I think that's a nice little touch, but enough of this shit. Let's start the game proper. So, in the intro, I said this game is very similar to uh, Donald Duck Going Quackers, and I would go so far as to say this is pretty much a carbon copy of that game. Yeah. And quite interesting, Donald Duck Going Quackers is a carbon copy of Crash Bandicoot 3, which means this game is a carbon copy of a carbon copy. So, um... To start, it gives us a few uh, simple instructions, like voodoo, which is uh, this weird attack Lilo has where she sticks some thing in the air and uh, I don't know what the hell it does. Uh, she can come over here and pick up these like TNT crates, which she can uh, place next to uh, idle uh, piranha plants and they explode, killing them in an instant. Uh, you have to run around collecting these like things, I don't know what they are, like flowers or something. And uh, you have to come and kill beetles and uh, run into uh, photo thingies, cameras to save your progress, jump on moving things, collect photographs for her wall, which all look the same. And I'm pretty sure there was a picture of that thing already on the wall. I can't quite make out what it is, but I'm pretty sure that was already on the wall, so I don't know why she's collecting 16 identical photographs for. Uh, there are four on each level, there's four levels I guess to start off with, and then the theme changes, so you go from collecting photographs to collecting vinyl records I believe. Uh, you can collect clapper boards here to view uh, movie clips, which I won't be viewing for the sake of uh, not getting my channel suspended. And uh, killing piranha plants and running around and jumping and uh, all very fun, all very vaguely reminiscent of vaguely uh, popular games in the uh, late 90s PlayStation 1 era. Mostly Crash Bandicoot and Donald Duck going quackers, but I'm sure if you delve deep enough you could find homages to various other games that the uh, game developers unknowingly put in because they're too thick to come up with their own unique ideas. And um, anyway, there's a hundred uh, things each level. 
and there's also four things in each level. And once you get all 100 of one thing and four of the other thing, you go through the uh, exit level portal thingy, which is basically just two bits of uh, signs with arrows on them. And then you come over here to this, uh, I guess it's like a clearing area called the Hula School. And you fight this giant rock golem boss. The first of many of these exact same bosses you'll find scattered throughout the game. Uh, I guess they're supposed to have, like come from outer space, like Stitch or, or something, because like Stitch is supposed to be an alien, I guess. But uh, they're not explained at all, and they're pretty damn easy. All you do is like do an old Julia Gillard and stab them in the back, essentially. That's all you have to do. This guy takes two hits, but as you get along, they take more hits. I think they go up to like four. Four is like the maximum. Anyway, that was the first part of this amazing game. Please stick with me for the next 19 or so parts as we delve deep into the amazing and uh, in-depth world of Lilo and Stitch, Trouble in Paradise. Uh, the next level is called something, but I can't remember, so let's go to the map and find out that the next level is called Kayona Road, where we will be collecting a hundred uh, coffee cups and four more pictures, and then we go to Halikala, which is another area kind of like Hula School or Lilo's house. Anyway, thank you for watching part one of this Let's Play. I'll see you again in part two, and as I always say, farewell for now, but not forever. Goodbye.